Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ TLM. You're watching DJ TLM TV. It's Monday. Time for a new Q&A video. And today's video is going to be a follow-up to a video that I just dropped called Know Your Function when you're doing a warm-up set. You can check that video right here. Now, after I dropped that video, I received a lot of questions in the comments section and through email. And what most of you wanted to know is you wanted examples. You want me to name track names of tracks that you can play during your warm-up set. Now... I'm definitely not going to do that. For one, there's a lot of genres where I don't have enough knowledge to even name titles of tracks because a lot of you were asking um, about certain house music and that's not my field of expertise. I play some house, but I'm definitely not qualified to give you guys info on what the right music would be during a house set when it comes to warm-up time. Now, I'm not going to spoon feed you which tracks you should play. Being a good DJ, there's a technical aspect, of course, knowing how to do a good mix. And to do a good mix, you have to do a lot of different things. And one of those things, of course, is knowing how to beat match, having the right timing, checking your levels, using your EQ, all of that. But a very important part of being a good DJ is your track selection. It's also the most personal part of being a DJ. Because when it comes to track selection, that is your opportunity to show you. So if I were to give you a list of tracks to play during your warm up and a list of tracks to play during the high part of the evening, what input would you have? So think about that. It's up to you to have enough musical knowledge of your own field of expertise, your own genres, the kind of music you play, to know and recognize which songs would be good to use during a warm-up set. And like I explained in the other video, when you're opening up and you're doing the warm-up part of the evening, it's all about creating that nice atmosphere, getting that vibe going, making people feel comfortable when they walk into the venue. It's not packed yet, so you have to set that nice, positive atmosphere. And you know what kind of music you play, so listen to your music, and think about which tracks will give you that feeling. That's how you can decide which tracks to play. Of course, it also depends on where you play. So if you have a residency at a club, then you're familiar with your audience. And you should already know what kind of music they like and what kind of music they don't like. You might have certain restrictions at a club or a bar that you're not allowed to play certain music. So you know that you have to look at other music, but it's up to you to know which type of music you should play. You already know what your function is when you're warming up. Now, use that knowledge and apply it to your music collection and figure out which songs you should play. So DJ TLM TV, it's all about sharing the knowledge and I love to teach you guys stuff about the technical aspect and also just knowledge in general. But I'm not here to spoon feed you every step of the way. You need to add your own personality to your DJ set. And your track selection is the most personal thing. So a lot of you guys might not be happy with that answer, but that is the answer that I'm going to give you. So check your music and you should be able to figure out what is a good warm-up track and what is not a good warm-up track. So thumbs up if you like that info. <laughs> Some of you might not, but that's what it is. I'll be back real soon with a lot of videos, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Share the knowledge, share the videos, and if you have any questions, DJTLMTV at DJTLM.com. Peace out.